just tried on this lace front wig that was ridiculously weird. It's synthetic. It's by this company that I found on Amazon, Joe Deer or something like that. I'll take pictures and insert them and all that good stuff. But I need to pluck my part. And I cut the lace all weird, but I don't really care because it's just something to wear when I don't feel like straightening my own hair. And I'm probably, oh, I got it down too far. There we go. There we go. Putting wigs where they belong. Um, I don't know. It's fun. It's got like this bouncy curl of awesomeness that makes me happy. The same way that I curl my actual hair, but my actual hair only comes down to like here. Anyway, um, I just wanted to make a quick note about this wig. It was not expensive at all. It was like super cheap. Less than what I pay when I go to the salon for them to, you know, wash and blow and all that with my hair. But, um, it'll probably last a couple weeks if I'm not, like, super hardcore on it. But what I wanted to mention is that I would consider this... I got a big head. I have a very big head. I would consider this big head compliant, not quite big head friendly. So, it's um, it's on there. I got most of that weird hump that these wigs do. I got most of that weird hump out of there. But, um, yeah, I have a big head. Like, woo! Big old head. Um, <laughs> and I would still say that this is pretty decent. It's just, you know, big head compliance. That's it. So, I gotta pluck the part, give it a more natural hairline, and do something to make it even flatter up top. Um, like, actually braid my hair underneath it, because all I did was put my hair in two cornrows, so that could be part of why that's sticking up. Look at that. Watch it happen. Pew, pew, pew. I shouldn't be this fascinated by wiggetry. But, um, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share about this wig. It's in a 1B, and I am, you know, I changed my mind. I'm not going to edit this video. I think I'm probably just going to put a link to the wig. Yes, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to stop being lazy. I appreciate it when you guys edit your videos, the ones of you out there who make them. So I'm going to do the same and pop a picture in there somewhere and call it a day. But, um, yeah, that's it. It's, oh, oh, I should mention, it does not shed like crazy like I was expecting. And it doesn't tangle much. Like, I mean, I'm not the best with it. And it is only day one. Look at that natural sunlight. Woo! I have problems. Yeah, so it's only day one. So, I mean, I can check back in a few days. But for now, it's not too shabby. It's pretty, you know... Pretty decent. I just got to do the things that people do to make wigs look more real. And that is all. Yay, quarantine vlogging.